Tiny phone people, welcome. Today, I'm making a prop box. Now in life, there are different ways to reach the same goal. Think of it as driving to a destination can take different roads to get to the same place. All work, some might just take longer than others. Now that I've got that out of the way for the haters, let's make a decent prop box. Personally, mine come out slightly different each time, depending on what I've got lying about at home. One ingredient that is essential, sphagnum moss. You can buy it dry for a small fortune, or you can source it locally and get a bit more bang for your buck. Right, so for today's lesson, we will need storage containers. Sphagnum moss, perlite, and a chunky soil mix. Personally, I don't make holes in these containers as I don't think they're airtight with the lids on. I actually start with a layer of drainage. This can be perlite, lecker, or gravel, whatever fix your switch. My second layer is in fact an entire layer of sphagnum. This acts as a filter for my third layer. As for the third layer, I like to use a mix of chunky soil. This will add some nutrients into the base of each prop box. My standard chunky soil mix is made up of perlite, bark, compost, worm castings, and cocoa fiber. You can add other amendments. Finally, I add a last layer of fluffy sphagnum moss. The fluffier the better, as your cuttings will nestle into these lovely green clouds. And that's it. It's as simple as that. I would then go ahead and add my cutting, spray down the box, close it, and forget about it for a good month. Prop boxes are a great inexpensive way to propagate and they save space you can stack them i hope this helps one love tiny phone people